Hello and welcome to Dinosaurs Before They Refuels. This is the show where we cover dinosaur news. It looks like we picked up some new viewers from Twitch TNT Show. To you new viewers, welcome, and to you old viewers, thanks for showing up again. And a big thanks to Tom Merritt for having me on Tech News today. I'm your host, Aya Zaktar, and let's get to the news. A new study by Jack Scanella and Jack Horner says that the Triceratops and Taurosaurus were actually the same animal in different developmental stages. For over a hundred years it was thought that they were two distinct animals. So why the confusion for so long? Juvenile dinosaurs and adult dinosaurs vary to a great degree to the point where it was easy to mistake a juvenile and an adult dinosaur for distinct species. Take a look at this picture by Holly Woodward. On the left is a Triceratops, on the right is what was thought to be the Taurosaurus, but is really a Triceratops. You can see the difference in the frills right away. Also of interest is that specimens of the Taurosaurus were rare compared to specimens of Triceratops. So now there's a question as to why Taurosaurus remains were so rare. Paleontologist John Scanella speculates that mortality was fairly high for Triceratops before they reached their fully mature morphology. So if the Triceratops and Taurosaurus are the same animal, what does this mean? This would have dinosaur diversity implications, that before the extinction, that the diversity of dinosaurs was diminishing. When you think of dinosaurs hunting for food, you might think of a great chase, one dinosaur attacking prey in a forest or something like that. But would you think about a dinosaur digging for food? Large claw marks have been found in Utah. These marks suggest that a theropod dinosaur, about one to two meters tall, was probably clawing to reach something to eat. In this case, something to eat means some kind of mammal. No bones of mammals have been found yet, but the claw marks definitely indicate some kind of digging was taking place because the marks don't fit any other patterns like footprints. Hey there, super wealthy viewers. Mark October 5th on your calendars because you can hit up the Sotheby's auction in Paris and pick up a complete skeleton of an Allosaurus. Sotheby's also sold Sue, a complete T-Rex, for about $8 million back in 1997. You can see Sue at Chicago's Field Museum today. If you're not rich, but you just want to check these, uh, these lots out, there's over 80 lots of dinosaur-related items, and there's a viewing starting October 2nd. Tired of just hearing about dinosaurs? Why not go out and take a closer look? If you're near Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, check out the Jurassic Forest where you can tour the forest and see giant robot dinosaurs. The robots have sensors so they react differently depending on which angle you approach them. Plus it's kid friendly. The Jurassic Forest opens on the 30th of July. If you're near Buffalo, New York, visit the Buffalo Museum of Science. What's there? The Touring Robotic Dinosaurs Exhibit. Even cooler is a dinosaur that you can control using a control pad. The exhibit is going to be around for another four months. And that does it for this episode of Dinosaurs Before They Refuels. We've got links to all the stories we talked about available at dinoshow.com. If you've seen a story you think we should cover, email us at finitecomedy at gmail.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you in around two weeks. Thank you